Easy ways to cast your favorite videos, games, and apps to the computer or big screen. Hello everyone, in this video we'll show you how to cast and mirror your Apple or Android device to the TV, computer, or tablet with AirPlay or Chromecast. This video is divided up into six sections. It's time-coded so it's easy to jump between them. The first section of the video deals with the phone link application. It fully supports both mirroring and casting on the Android device. It quasi supports the iPhone. Mirrorcast on the PC is fully supported for mirroring and casting. Does not support Apple AirPlay. Roku supports Apple AirPlay and the Chromecast feature on the Android phone. Chromecast TV supports only the Android for casting and mirroring. Reflector 4 is a phenomenal piece of software for cross cross-platform compatibility between iOS, Macs, PCs. Another fantastic piece of software is AirDroid. It also supports mirroring and casting across Macs and PCs. So let's dive in and go through each of the sections. So we have the Samsung A52 on the right. I'm using DroidCam to display it on the screen here. And off to the left, I have a phone link application by Microsoft, which is well integrated into the Windows operating system. So if you're wanting to display your phone onto the computer, the easiest way to do it is through the phone link application. So you download that, set it up. We'll do a future video on how to walk through the setup on that. But right now we're just going to activate the program and you can see you have complete functionality of the phone here. We can use the phone we have full functionality of the phone as well as displaying the phone. So it's pretty neat functionality. We'll briefly contrast the compatibility of the iPhone with the phone link app. Unlike the Android where you can click on the phone, get a complete mirror image of the phone. You can open the apps on the phone. If we select the iPhone over here as the default device, you will get the notifications, but they're dead end notifications. You can't click on them, you can't open anything. Across the top, you have your messages and calls. You can go to the call function if you want. You can search your contacts, select a contact, and make a call. So you can message from this. You can make calls from this. You can get your notifications over here on the left. But that's the limited capability. There is no mirroring or casting capability built into phone link for the iPhone. To be able to cast the phone via Miracast to the computer, the setup is pretty simple. Go to settings on the Windows operating system. Once you're in settings, type in optional features, select that. And down here, we're going to search for installed features because the wireless display is the one you're gonna to want to install and it's presently installed on the system. But if you don't have it installed in the system, you will go up here to add an optional feature. You'll type in wireless and up will pop the wireless display feature. You'll install that and that will allow you to implement Miracast casting either from the phone to the computer or from the computer to another device. The next thing we're gonna do is cast the phone directly to the computer using the Miracast functionality built into the Windows operating system. So to do that, we just click on Smart View. Did you notice that menu went away? Over here, it's displayed on the camera. So we're gonna pick the computer we wanna connect with. And we're gonna say Start Now. Here on the Windows computer, we get a prompt, we'll say OK, and now we have the phone displayed on the computer. If you want to take it out of full screen, you can just use the F11 function, and that will allow us to resize the window. And one of the things I want to point out is, as this is being displayed over here, we're going to go back over to the camera image of the phone, and if we want to go to the menu over here on the, on the camera image, there is some limitations on what will be displayed when you cast it through the Windows Miracast. You see on the left side, you're not getting the full display of the phone. So we're gonna close the Miracast application. We're gonna do a real quick walkthrough on how to set up the mirroring function on the TV. Go to the settings on the TV. From there, scroll down to system. From system, go over to screen mirroring. From there, you're going to have three choices, prompt, always allow, or never allow. Of course, you're going to want always allow or prompt. Pretty simple. Next thing I'd like to do is cast it to a TV. This is the TV we want to cast it to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back into Smart View again. 
And there is Smart View. We're going to launch that. And this time we're going to pick the TV. So this is the TV right here. This is karaoke. And at the bottom of the screen, over, over on the left or the right, you can see we can say Start Now. When we go to start it, it will disconnect from the PC Link app. And now it's connecting to the television set. You can see that in the center of the screen. And there you go. Now you have a display on the television set. We'll quickly go through how to cast an Apple device to your Roku enabled TV. Go to the settings function on your TV. Scroll down to Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Select that. Once you select that, you'll get the AirPlay and HomeKit settings screen. Go over to your Apple device. Swipe down from the far right corner and you'll see the casting function here. Select that. Now you can select the TV that you want, in this case karaoke. Once the TV is selected, you will see the Apple device appear on your TV screen. This is for the Roku TV. Next, we're going to cover the Chromecast device, which does not support Apple AirPlay. We're going to walk through a quick setup on the Chromecast device to show you how you can mirror to the TV through the Chromecast. From the home screen, you're going to go to the settings gear. Select that. From there, you're going to scroll down to system and select system. And from there, you'll scroll down until you get to the cast function. From there, you'll see you have three options. Always, while casting, and never. You'll pick while casting or always. Pretty simple. So we've switched the TV here in the center of the screen to the Chromecast receiver. And at the beginning of the video, we talked about how to get the Samsung Smart View compatible with the Chromecast. For whatever reason, Samsung decided to turn off the Chromecast compatibility inside their phones. We'll walk you through the necessary steps to get that turned on. The first thing you're going to do is come down to Settings. You're going to go down to Developer Options, however you need to get into that. And the first time you go into Developer Options, you have to click it a bunch of times. I don't know, 8, 10, 12, and eventually it will unlock the features. In this particular case, that has to be turned on in order to activate the Chromecast functionality. So once you've turned on the developer options, you can go back in and search settings and type in smart. In this case, we can go to smart view and click on smart view again and come up here to the three dots and go to settings. And then down here, about Smart View. There's multiple ways to do this. This is just one particular example. So any way you can get to this screen where it shows the Smart View and the version. Now, what you have to do is you have to aggressively tap on this multiple times. And when you do that, you'll unlock these other settings in the background. And you can see down here, there's one called Google Cast. And then what we want to do is we want to turn on Google Cast. Now it's on. If we go back, we're going to go back into the main screen and turn Smart View on again. Remember, we just activated Google Cast, and this is, the, and the TV is in the center of the screen there. That's one of the problems with this phone link app. It doesn't always show everything on the phone. But anyway, you see, you have the option right here now for the guest bedroom where that TV is located. And we're going to come down and say start now. And in the center of the screen here, you can see that it just now activated the phone. We lost sync with the PC Link app. We can open something on the phone just to show you that it's real time being displayed on the TV. You can do that, come back in, and there you are. So that's the way to activate the Google Cast feature in the Samsung phones. They've turned it off and buried it.
All right, we kind of waited to the end on this one third party app because it uses the Google Cast feature. And the one I'm talking about is Reflector 4 is one of the easiest ways to mirror iOS and or Android devices on the PC and the Mac computers. It's what we've been using down here all along to display the TV. And you can see the iPad, which is what's taking a picture of the TV, is what's connected to this. If we want to connect to this third party app, come over to the phone, Smart View, and remember we've turned on the Google Cast feature. This would use the MirrorCast function to the computer. This is going to cast to the Reflector 4 software using the Google Cast technology. So we'll click that and we'll say start now. And just that simple, you can see the phone on the screen. Look at that. That is just slick. You can move it around. So this is the TV in the center of the screen here. This is the Samsung phone that we just launched with Reflector. And it is just a mirroring of the phone screen. There is no functional control over it. Not like the phone link app where you can click and control the phone. Over here, you don't have any control over the phone. But it's not a real big deal because if you wirelessly connect a Bluetooth mouse to your phone, which is what we have here, then on screen there, you basically do have complete control of your phone on the screen. Usually what you're looking for, if you're trying to do a demo or you're trying to share some information with colleagues, that's what you'd be looking for. So that's a neat third-party app that allows you to connect multiple devices across iOS and Android onto a PC or a Mac. But let's take it even one step further. I thought it would be pretty neat if you could cast a Samsung phone to an iOS device, in this case, the iPad. Found a piece of software that allows you to do that. It's called AirDroid. So we have Reflector running both the iPad and the A52. And you can do this with an iPhone too, cast it to the iPad, which is kind of cool. But anyway, let's get started with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch this AirDroid cast software on both devices. And once we launch it, once we do the casting on the uh, A52, we'll lose the screen over here on the Reflector 4 software. But I just wanted to show you how absolute easy this is. On the left screen, you see on the bottom here, we have cast the screen or receive the screen. So we're going to tap on receive the screen. And then what comes up is a number. You could take the camera, the phone, and scan that. Or you can just enter the code over here on the right side. So down here, it says receive screencast. Look how simple it is. Receive the screencast or cast the screen. In this case, we want to cast the screen. So we're going to cast the phone screen. Start casting. Get rid of this screen. We're going to say, go ahead and start. Pretty simple. Now you have the Android phone on the iPad. You wanted to control your phone on your iPad. Maybe it has a better display. Maybe your phone's cracked and you want to look at it on your iPad. For whatever reason, pretty simple to get your phone onto the iPad. And that's just an application that's running. You, know, you want to go to another app or something. Pretty simple to do. Click the screen and go to another app. You want to come back to the phone. Just go down to your AirDroid app and there you are. And you can do the same thing with the iPhone. If you want to use this application to get the iPhone onto the uh, iPad, you could do that. You can do it onto a Mac. You can do it onto a PC. So a pretty versatile piece of software allows you to interconnect the different devices with the different operating systems. That's it for today's video on how to cast or mirror any phone to a variety of devices. We hope you found this video helpful. Before we go, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on automation. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions about casting. We're always happy to help. Have a great and wonderful automation day.